Hey, how are we doing guys? Gray here and today we've got our semi-finals game of the APA. We're going up against JV and his Atlanta Victinis. Once again, we faced them in week, se week 7? Week 8? Week 8, I think. Um, I better type in a good luck have fun. You, if you're not saying good luck, who are you? Um, yeah, we faced him in week 8. We were able to pick up a, a big win against him, but we had a different team. He has got the same team as then, but... Uh, we have our third draft instead of our second, as you saw in our quarterfinal game. So uh, the matchup this time round, in my opinion, is worse for me than the first time round. I think first time round, it would kind of um, I could play to a set strategy and very easily be able to uh, do uh, the things with Sloking. I don't have the same team. I don't have the same responses to his offense. Uh, so it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Um, I'm gonna press A. We're gonna get into this. Good luck. Have fun. It's Jay. Uh, he has been absolutely smashing it recently. Uh, he did send me his six before, so I knew what I was expecting. It doesn't make it any easier. Um, did I potentially mess up? I think I have rocks on two mons. That's less than ideal. Um, I get rid of the Mandibuzz. Spectre is big. If I get rid of the Sandaconda, Toxtricity goes in. And it does become a bit of a sack race. We shouldn't be playing for too long. I think this is going to be a very quick game. Um, as you can see by the items, like I'm not expecting a short game by any means. Um, does my Jirachi live a spec Shadow Ball now? Um, I even got my calcs up. I am so underprepared. Uh, oh my god, 30 seconds. Import. Um, I think I'm just going to lead off with Jirachi. Regardless, I really wish I brought my AV Jirachi now. AV Jirachi would have just gone crazy in this game. Yeah, I do regret not bringing the set that I initially had. But it is what it is. Um, I, I kind of decided late that it wasn't the best bring. Um, but actually, against the six that he brought, it would be fantastic. It was mainly like the Sandaconda was an issue for it. And I don't really have switching to Santa Gonda, so but that doesn't change from me now having sugar. But yeah, good luck, have fun to Jay. Win or lose, we've had a fantastic season. These are Becky. I would say that's a pretty ideal lead. Uh, I'm just going to Meteor Mash, I think. I could Meteor Mash, I could just set up rocks. I could T-Wave. I'm going to set up rocks. I think they're kind of crucial to my game plan. He is going to be faster, so he is scarred. That's good to know. That's also a little bit rough. I do probably need to preserve this for that. It's going to be the Mandibuzz, uh, the Moltres. Okay. Uh, this is something I don't necessarily switch into particularly well. I am very bulky on this. Uh, okay, that Prim is looking very, very annoying for me. Like, super annoying, actually. Um, I do want to keep the health on that just to be able to click moves. This is not an optimal start for me. I'm kind of wishing I was still Citrus as well. Like, there's a lot of things that I'm wishing I was right now. My AV set would have actually beaten this 1v1, so I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't stick to that. But, you know, it's what it is. Probably does over half with this. So I, I really don't want to stay in, but then, like, what is my switch into this? I honestly don't have one. Um, I'm just going to Thunder Wave. Just gonna T-Wave, Flamethrowers, it's not ideal, does a lot of damage. That's just not worth it, that was a bad play. I'm not thinking right now, I spent too, like, too long just kind of worried about this matchup. Having that paralyzed is kind of nice, but it's not gonna save me in the long run. Um, Scarf Prim is gonna be a problem for me. Um, Spectre still looks like the wing con. I need to break Mandibuzz. 
Um, how much are you doing for tops? Uh, flamethrower. I think I've got to let this go down regardless. Because I don't actually switch into this one particularly well. Um, I kind of want to keep the sash on you. I've got self rock and two mons. Like I really messed up on the build here. Really messed up on the build. Scorching sands. That's a good play. Does a lot. Doesn't get the burn though. Um, Sandaconda seems like a likely switch in. I want to predict the Sandaconda coming in. No, because I think if he goes Sandaconda, he'll set up rocks. So I'll Stone Edge. And if Sandaconda does come in. There's Sandaconda. I will just go Hard Urshifu. Respectable damage. Um, yeah, just go hard, Urshi. I've given up a lot of my HP and a lot of offensive potential here. There's the rocks. Really wishing I had a scarf on this now. Um, does he have a close combat switch in? I mean, he can go just hard out into Moltres. He could also go Mandibuzz. Uh, Mandibuzz is less of an issue, so I'll click Wicked Blow. And just hope I don't get blown by Moltres. If that's... Okay, he does go, he does go into this. If I click close combat, so we've done half, but... You no, know, it is what it is. Respectable damage, does look like it's Fizz Death. It's weak armor. So I'm assuming it's gonna have Brave Bird. Um, I do want to keep this around. If he, he could be Boomerang. Oh, if he brings my own set against me. That'd be real bad. Does Brave Bird kill me? Um, Urshifu to it in Mandibuzz. Can I tell if he's defensive from that? Wicked Blow did like 30%, so potentially not. If he is Brave Bird, he's minus one. I'm just going to stay in and click Wicked Blow again. He turns, okay. Made the right play. Uh, right. So something's got to take a wicked blow now. And probably going to be Moltres. I don't mind the Moltres taking that damage. I really don't mind Sandicon taking that damage. But no, it's going to be Moltres. Potentially just going to burn me here. We're just going to Oko it. No flame body, please. Okay, so the flame body is out of the way. Prim comes in. Because he knows that I'm banded. I need more damage on the Mandibus, but I don't need a lot more damage. I don't need a lot more. It's going to be the prune. Uh, just going to go Rachi. Just going to go Rachi. She just Hydro Pumps. Uh, like, I, I don't, straight up don't have a... Way of dealing with that, so Primarina. If it's Choice Scarf. 
Hydro Pump actually can knock me out. My Dog's Trusty. Uh, regardless, I still go into it. I, I can die to Hydro after Rocks. If it's Modest Scarf. But he may also fear Scarf from me. So... I'm going to Volt. Because it will give me Urshifu again. If it's the... Yeah, it's this thing. I can't take much in terms of rock damage. I think next time... Uh, next time it comes in, it will be in a real bad position. Alright, so Nigel comes in now. Nigel comes in, and it can click Mega, Cl Mega Kick here. Um, I could also just U-turn. Do I even have a switch into this thing? Realistically, no. Um, if he stays in, I guess I would sack. I could knock. I don't hate knock, I'm gonna... yeah. I think knock is solid. Because if he goes into the Mandibuzz... Oh, he goes into the Sandaconda. Hopefully there's two KOs. I don't know, actually. It's fully fizzed there. And probably not. Nah, I don't look like it. No Dr. Rocky Helmet. Um, Another knock. Doesn't look like it's knocking it out. But I honestly don't want to swap anything into this. Uh, I don't believe the EQ will knock me out here either, so... I'll go for it again. Yeah, I just barely missed out on the KO. Please take this well. Okay. That's acceptable. I'll just knock off one more time. Full switch is still incredibly free. I just need more damage on the Mandalas. And if he's, if he's Scarf Dragapult, it won't matter anyway, but this does at least prevent... Um, like I was sacked to the Prim here. Regardless, I sacked to the Prim. Uh, you have to click Hydro Pump to do the thing against Tox. I, I think Timid. Timid Scarf. After two rounds of rocks will certainly put me in range. Um, how much is Spec doing? Spec's not doing enough. Spectre Air needs more damage. Um, I will gladly knock this off. Yeah, I will gladly knock this off. It could be quicker. These weak armory could be quicker. So that's respectful damage, and now he has to take boots. He has to take boots, he has to take rocks when he comes in. Foul plays. That's fine. Crit didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. Man, I am so scared. That fucking... I think I have Bluffly a Cell Rock here. Bluffly a Cell Rock probably is my best play. Um, a ledge. And hope that he doesn't stay in. If he stays in, then that's completely fair as well. to stay in. Fuck. 
Okay. This thing's a problem. That was a bad, bad play as well, because that's a sack for Dragapult. Okay. U-turn, foul play. I'm going to make the assumption it's got to have Roost. If it has Boomerang, then that's just fantastic prep. Like, honestly, it's just fantastic prep, and there's not a lot I can do about that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to Vol Switch. Right, I'm losing the sack race, so I need to get Spectre Air in sooner rather than later. He is going to withdraw. Okay. Goes back into this. Like, that is heavily AV. Once again, just go into you. And I think this time... I, I still think I Wicked Blow. I, yeah, I still got a Wicked Blow. Because I think you just take the sack. Potentially. Okay, he doesn't. I was hoping he would take the sack. I mean, I would take this damage. I will absolutely take this damage. That's really good damage. Um... Magazine can still be a problem. I think I have to go into Toxtricity here, and then Revenge with Spec Spectria after, and try and sweep with Spectria. Goes for the Hydro Pump. This is just going to knock me out. I think he's probably a Spadef Mandibuzz. Um, but I don't know if Spadef Mandibuzz is taking a hit after rocks. If he's Scarf Dragapult, it may not even matter. So he's going to withdraw, he's going to preserve this. Just gives him to Magnazone. Which, realistically, is one of the few things that probably could have taken this hit very well. Um, it's not taking that, so I'll Shadow Ball again. It's starting to feel like maybe he's either Banded Sucker Punch or he's uh, Scarf Dragapult himself. I got a feeling that regardless, I gotta click Shadow Ball against the Dragapult and just hope that he's not scarfed. And that Prim was his scarfer. But there's a strong chance that he's like dual scarfers or he's just Sucker Punch. And Sucker Punch would definitely hurt my chances. <laughs> would definitely hurt my chances of winning this game. In that I think if he's just banded, it will knock me out. Sucker. Doesn't even have to be banded after rocks. He has to be like life orb or worse. I guess best case scenario is we see boots. 
Okay, goes into this. After rocks at plus one. I'm not sure you take this. Just have a quick look. I'm at plus one. 25 to 30. I mean, I've got to click it. i got to click it. Does pick up the KO. Okay. So now it comes down to whether or not Dragapult has some is scarfed or has some for me. I would have thought we'd gone out to Dragapult there. But I could actually lock into a Soccer Punch with my Urshifu and win this game now. If this shows to be scarfed. Uh, we do see it take rocks. I'm just going to click it. This wouldn't be the first time that Sucker Punch Dragapult has done me in. He doesn't have the Sucker Punch, he's not Kacid. I think we just win. Yeah. Holy shit, Spectria is such a good one. It looked really good in this matchup once Mandibuzz was weakened. But I, I don't think I played this one necessarily that well. I got carried by a broken mom. Straight up. <laughs> Straight up carry. Um, this dice rocks. Nearly. Yeah, friend bringing us back. But good game to JV. I He does have the Aqua Jet as well. Uh, that's a respectable amount of damage. Torrent boosted Aqua Jet. Not bad. Um, choice Scarf for Aqua Jet as well. What? Interesting bring, but that game was stress. I'm not going to lie, that game was stressful. We are into finals. I don't know who we face in the finals, but yeah, like the prep stressed me. Playing this stressed me. Uh, Jay being so handsome stressed me. It's, yeah, just non-stop stress, honestly. Um, yeah, good game to Jay. Like I said, he's been absolutely rolling people left, right and center, not losing games all season. Uh, so yeah, make sure to go check him out. He is also, um, in my opinion, one of the best content creators around. Make I always check out his videos. Like every, I'm, I'm kind of simping here, but um, yeah, I check out his videos all the time. You absolutely should do too. Uh, yeah, really great game. Uh, if Spectria wasn't as strong as Spectria is, then uh, yeah, we had no chance of winning that game. But uh, yeah, like if you enjoyed the battle, subscribe so you don't miss out on finals as well as UPBA uh, PAC. Until next one, have a great day, guys.